Oh my god, wow, it's a special episode of a different game as an intermission. Wow. This is not... Don't pay attention to the game. You don't have to worry about the game. I'm just going to play this quietly in the background uh, while we talk about stuff. It'll be like classic tea review show, but with a twist. The twist is I'm going to be distracted. <laughs> I like this game. I'm sad that we can't, can't talk about it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think people like this game, and that's the problem. I... I'm really, really bad at it, so I will never play it. However, I have not played it in a long time. I need to clarify. Oof. So I don't know what, how this is going to go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to multitask to that extent where I can hold a conversation with you and play this game. Yeah. You know, you like you play games for so long, you can kind of like do it with your brain switched off. Yes. You can enter like a fugue state with certain games where yes. it's like, my body's moving by itself. Not in like the hentai way, but in like the ultra oh, instinct kind of way. You know? Dude. So... Um, That's yeah. what I'm aiming for. I'm, I'm aiming to hentai up. We we used to... This is back when... God. I was in university in my first one. And we first really got together in a relationship. And we used to... He used to play this uh, while I watched him. Or I would play Dawn of War Dark Crusade. A, a superior game. <laughs> Whoa, that strong chat. <laughs> oh, you should leave that before picking up later. Shut up. Do what I like. <laughs> I know more about this game than you. Actually, probably not anymore. No, probably not anymore. I, I haven't really played the DLC for this at all i played uh, what was it called afterbirth i played afterbirth plus or whatever came out afterwards yeah i just didn't i i stopped giving a shit at that point so did we say what it was this, this is the binding of Isaac. binding of Isaac. it'll be in the now got extra stuff yeah whatever anyway let's not talk about the game let's move on yeah so you've got topics for us to talk about i mean kind allegedly of, a kind of i've only just got like well what the fuck you said i said do you have topics and you said yeah i said i have oh. some <laughs> yeah I, i've got one that like this is like old news for us too but i just find it kind of funny uh, uh, not everybody in who's watching us will be mad at the gathering players but okay um, okay here we go this was a, like a while ago we ordered some cars like a big big order from like loads of different european countries Are you, i know what you're about to complain about uh i'm ready for it and we got a parcel from the netherlands oh this one <laughs> this one. Oh, this story i this thought you were a gonna, different one i thought you were gonna complain about, about the spain. spanish yeah no, the spanish we'll postal spain service after, afterwards but um you should have gone back and re-rolled. Um, Shots <laughs> up about the game. I was going for the boss room because the item pool is better. Um, but yes, um, play it, we got a, I got one from the Netherlands and it was taking bloody forever. Uh, it turns out it had been seized at the border. Yeah, it had been seized and searched. <laughs> because they thought we had uh, assumedly bought some weed. Yeah, I guess so. Because Something it, illegal it's anyway. It's like a, a small package. I've never had that happen before. I don't know if, like, because it's maybe the person who we bought it from just smokes weed and oh, wait, you the, thought the, it, and the smell was on there and maybe a dog picked it up. stunk it up, yeah, maybe. Yeah, like, maybe. This is, like, a, a unlikely, but, yeah, yeah. Ju just, a, just a strange little thing that um, I, I remembered and I've wanted to bring up in a tea review, but then our camera's dead. So. Yeah, if you're wondering why there haven't been many tea reviews, we have to record it on our phones, and that is a real... It's a real bollock. That's a real dog hole to try and try and do. Yeah. Even with all the extra stuff I bought for it, like an SD card reader, it's such a pain in the ass. Like the video sizes end up enormous, and the audio is never going to be good. Because I tried connecting like microphones to my phone. Yeah, we tried to do like lapel and, like, microphones. The battery my life is just shit. So we'll look into it properly. I mean, we could convert this desk that we're using. Like this is exclusive Elise and Sam room. Yeah, this is our Elise and Sam room now. We've, we've... So we could we could set something up here and and you know do something with that, I suppose. Oh, what? Se I... Separate desk or even this desk and just. Well, this room is assumedly, if we ever decided to stream, would be our streaming room. Yeah, it would yeah. Because we are still decorating it. This is literally just like, like I, we've painted two of the walls like black, and I put like glow in the dark, in the dark stars. stars on there. Like not stars, <laughs> just dots, but they um. Ooh. Oh, you should have chose the other one. Jesus Ew. Christ. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I just, just having a good little time. What are you doing? Get this. Because I need a damage boost. Why don't you go and pick up the battery so you could re-roll the item room thing? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do both. Yeah, you could have just gone through the, mi the middle No, one. talk about the game. We've discussed this. <laughs> yeah, what, what, what would you... When would you want to stream with us, me, if ever? I don't mind streaming. I really don't. My, my, my problem with streaming is like that of paranoia in that I don't want to use my current recording setup because that's the thing I do all of my business on. My tax returns, communication with accountant, everything, right? Mm. All my legal stuff is on that PC. And I've seen far too many streamers like stream their shit and then press the start menu or whatever. Like we don't have an Alexa in this room. 
for and if people who know have you seen that clip of that guy the, who yeah. had his like arch, uh, speakers on uh and somebody sent a message with bits it was but, one of those twitch streamers that that his whole shtick was like he just streamed 24 7 so even yeah. when he was asleep and people could just send messages and they like kind of part of the joke was Oh, keep me awake, ha ha ha! Oh, don't don't send air horn sound effects while I'm trying to sleep. And somebody sent a, a voice chat to Alexa that was the... spoken out by his PC that said, uh, "What is my location?" And she will just say it. <laughs> yeah, she'll just be like, "Your location is blah 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 blah." Yeah, that's happened multiple times now, and it's not a very funny bit. To I'm be too terrified of that to stream. Like, just too terrified of ducks myself. Even when I was playing Fallout 4, I was signed in with my. Ooh. Microsoft account mm. and uh, when you sign in with a Microsoft account what happens is you have your full name last name mm. when I press tab it opens a start menu and what was on the start menu my full name last name so yeah. because I was capturing my whole desktop because Fallout 4 was a bit weird like that well, I accidentally pressed the start button mid episode and it pops up saying everything yeah and I was like uh, my personal email I'm like come on so I just yeah. scrap a whole bloody episode, basically. Massive pain in the ass. So this uh, PC has got like nothing on it. It nothing. is like m nothing. Like at I all. only just signed into Steam, so we could. Yeah, and we've been playing Vampire on this basically since we started playing Vampire again recently. Yeah, um, exactly that. But it's been more consistent. Was the PC not? The, no, this was a great a good choice. investment. This is actually probably our best PC in the house as well now. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not as good for rendering as yours, but for gaming. No, see, mine's a proper one. like enterprise work PC. It's got yeah. like a, I won't go into uh, big lightest tech tip moment. It's got a thread ripper <laughs> in it, which is meant for work, right? Yeah. Not not games. And Whereas, this one's got like a gaming. Uh, yeah, it's got CPU. A gaming CPU in it. It's got a seventy eight hundred X three D for those three of you who. Wanted to do a little cummy wummy over that. <laughs> um, yeah. It's been a good investment because it's, it's kept us good. kept us consistent. It I don't have to fuck around with my... The amount of times we recorded Resident Evil on my PC and then, like, we forgot to unplug the microphone uh, or I had to change my audio settings for... That's true because like, we, we used to have, have problems with Sam's audio for his episodes because we would... You'd um, leave your microphone plugged in and then I'd record RimWorld and then, like... I wouldn't hear it at the time, but when I watched it back to edit it, it would be, like, really crazy echoey. And also, like, with this PC, the sound setup is a lot easier in general. Yeah, it is, for um, sure. Just because, like... Um, well, these mics are both just set. We can use either of them. Yeah, they're but the we've same swapped, settings. We swapped mics today. There might be, like, a slight difference in sound. But whenever I had to go into Sam's office, Ooh. he would often have to change his normal working microphone or change me to be extra loud, which uh, wasn't ideal. Yeah, these mics are both identical. Yeah. Whereas, to buy like my mic that I normally use, yeah, for the one we use, it's like a three hundred quid microphone. Yeah, it's so better. So I don't really want to do anything Ooh. with that. I don't really want to buy a second one for you. Basically, that's not that's no. not on my list of things to do. So anyway, that's that. So it was good, good investment. Good. It still needs You've a lot not of done stuff doing with room, it. Have you? Just so we need. Don't talk about the game. I'm sorry. I'm just Stop. a little bit worried. I'm worried that you're gonna forget about things. I'm not gonna forget about anything. You're um, fine. But yeah. Well, what a day. Thanks for that. Welcome. <laughs> what a day. What a day. Was, we still need to buy like chairs and shit for this room. Yeah. Because the chairs we've got were like the cheapest. Yeah, these chairs are honestly awful. Um, they were the cheapest ones I could buy on Amazon, like, quickly. I said to Sam we should, like, because um, I've got a secret lab chair, not spawn, in my office. Unless they want to sponsor us. If they do want to sponsor us, I would actually, by all means I would take the channel. a, yeah. I would take a, uh, um, This channel is hemorrhaging money. It is, it's, it's taking a lot of money We're like a, a, a grand camera down the drain, because it just packed up. Because it just up. died, yeah. Um... Yeah, I take. I would potentially take sponsorships on this channel if we were more consistent. I feel like if we did more content, there. you know. I, you know how I feel about sponsorships. Never has my way come a sponsorship that I have genuinely, legitimately been interested in, other than like the the, the five or so paradox sponsorships I've done, Prison Architect or whatever. You know. Yeah, the games that you already played. Yeah, like it's just not. It's not any interest to me whatsoever. Mm. I've already played the Blood Bank, haven't I? Yeah. Goodbye. Um, don't talk about the game, Sam. Sorry. What was I going to say before you, you made my brain... Chairs. Chairs. I, I've no interest in any sponsorships at all. I'm, like, so firm on that currently. I'm personally, like... Does that work? Can mm. I do that? 
No, apparently not. Oh, did you just kill yourself? <laughs> yeah, I thought Horror Babylon gave you a heart, but I guess not. Um, I'm of the opinion if it's going to keep your channel alive, take the sponsorship. Uh, I'm of the opinion that YouTubers are full of fucking shit, and the amount of YouTubers who claim poverty are larger than I think should be the case. It because... really depends on the type of content you do. If you're doing like... Uh, I don't think that um, Markiplier, for instance, does those sorts of things because he doesn't need it. And he doesn't claim uh, any of the stuff that Sam said. But um, a lot of video essayists that do, like, one video every, like, what, six months, sometimes a year, that's, that's going to need sponsorships to stay alive, I think. So it really depends oh, on the sort of But then there's conflict of interest if you're a video essayer doing a... Well, it depends on what you're doing a video essay about. If you're doing a video Suppose essay so. about Surfshark, then maybe <laughs> maybe you don't take a sponsorship from Surfshark. Um, I, I think no matter what, the fact that you are exchanging... You, we live in a society, Sam. Sometimes you just got to get paid. Well, here's the thing. I seem to have found a way to get paid. Yeah, but your content is very consistent. But, like, forget about the Patreon a minute. I'd be fine. Uh, yeah. Right? But and if it well, all went to shit and YouTube decided not. Nah. Well, that's exactly why I've got a Patreon. Just in case stuff went to shit and YouTube is absolutely no how whatsoever. But I'm talking like... I, I'm not, like, uh, going to target anyone in particular. Recently, someone posted a screenshot in the Discord of a YouTuber who'd censored the word hell. They do very similar content to me. Mm. And, and I just, like... I, I can only think to myself, uh, is the lady doth protesting a little bit too much there? I have never... I don't censor myself. Anybody who's watched my content knows that. I mean, for Christ's sake, I call one of my characters in an episode today a massive nonce. Mm. Right? I swear non-stop. You know, I, I don't ever censor myself. I do not get demonetized unless I... I get copyright striked quite a lot, because obviously I use a lot of memes. I'm very silly with what I with my approach. But I don't get demonetized from swearing or using certain language or anything like that. Yeah, but you say the C word, which is different. I, I don't get demonetized all often. the fucking time. <laughs> um, but I, I've never had a problem. I, I mark my content correctly with their surveys. I don't sense myself in any way whatsoever. And I never have any problems. I don't know if it's just because you are... Um, you're in that like kind of sweet spot of not being so big that like YouTube takes notice of you. Sure, but, but this account are... that was self-censoring. Uh, oh, I'm not saying that this person. You was know, doing like the right Sunday thing. school slurs, like hell and damn it and gosh and, and bother. That might just be their prerogative. Yeah, well, know? yeah, that's the thing. I th I think a lot of people are. I think it, I think it's it's maybe made out to be a slightly larger problem than it is. It's. A different problem from now. my perspective again i'm just one person speaking about my experience but in my experience i well i've had videos, pushed quite far and have no problems i've had videos on this channel be demonetized for something that i don't know what we did this channel though is uh unique in that it has problems with well first you use the c word which is on their not allowed list yeah but like that uh, videos that i don't use it sometimes get the, well, the way it works is you have a trust rating on your yes, channel. So you the do. more you get demonetized, the more likely you are to be demonetized in the future. So as long as you fill out their survey correctly, and their survey is quite long, so I understand that a lot of people might not want to do it or might be ignorant of how important it actually is. But the... the, the I, I mean, I've always answered it honestly, which is... My videos have swearing in them. My videos have simulated violence in them. I do that every single time, and I've never... I've never had problems. And my trust rating is supposedly very, very high. But I imagine if I kept swearing and didn't fill out, you know, the, the, the thing their, correctly... Their form, yeah. Then I would probably get demonetized far more frequently. I don't know. I feel like th there's a lot of rules and a lot of bullshit and a lot of bureaucracy. Obviously, I'm not happy with it, but I almost feel like if you play by their rules... It's not a massive issue. I'm well, not saying that's a good thing. Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of dissension because I wa actually watch a lot of video essays and a lot of video essays by uh, non-white creators. And if you talk about certain topics, um, even ones that are not explicitly against the rules, they will often be demonetized. Yeah, I mean, any political talk is a... You've got to think of it from... I mean, it's shitty to say, but from the perspective of the sponsor, would they rather sponsor someone who swears but is overall apolitical like me or are you going to risk sponsoring someone who has a political agenda well, this isn't sponsorship underline etc uh, you know, sorry i meant i meant advertising um, you're not gonna you, you're gonna go with the 
more bog standard wallflower option, right? Rather than potentially run alongside... It's ever since the PewDiePie thing, isn't it? But <laughs> rather than run alongside something that could be perceived as... <sighs> a dissension to the norm. Everything is so, uh, so bipartisan these days that by sponsoring one political thing over the other or, or some sort of anything that, that can even be remotely seen as political, you're alienating 50% of your audience, right? Yeah, but I, I don't subscribe to that sort of idea personally. You know well, I am not. I'm speaking like objective fact here. That's how it works. It's how it works. But it doesn't they mean don't right, want to sponsor. You know? No, it doesn't make it right. Absolutely. I totally agree. But that is how it works in that they're not going to sponsor the, political stuff when there's so much more uh, the advertise is, on it. When like, there's so much more stuff that they could advertise on that's a safe bet, so to speak. I don't want to go too political, but there are opinions that are allowed and opinions that are not allowed and a lot of the opinions that are allowed are often ones that um, are counter to what I believe. Uh -huh. How about that? Is that is that fair to say? I mean, that's fair to say, but I think that... It takes a lot for certain <laughs> channels like uh, to get actually taken off the platform or de demonetized permanently. That's a, that's a different conversation, I think. Um, things like that. that It just feels like unbalanced in the... I'll say a word that I don't really give a shit about and most people from here don't seem to give a shit about unless unless you're like over 50 but like the c word yes and that that gets me demonetized and we've got like we've got a warning on our channel for i think it was our sakura series that we did that we got rid of because we were like this is content we don't really want here anymore and getting rid of it made youtube flag it even though the rules had changed yeah. since and they flagged it and we've got a warning on our channel we have had a low trust weight rating for a while because I said the C word, and yet... Well, that was also counted as sexualized content, <sighs> which... It, it, wasn't the, it wasn't the sexualized content, it was the thumbnails. Was, well, you know, that, that is, they, yeah. They, they, uh, basically, it was like, you cannot use uh, unrepresentative footage, I guess. But the thing is, it was a screenshot from the game, but I guess it was um, too much. It was sexy clickbait, that's what it was. It was sexy clickbait. Even though sexy clickbait happens all the time. <laughs> oh, God. It's, it's just unfairly You gotta play uh, the game. Done, you gotta you know? play the game. It sucks, but that's how it goes. And Yeah, well, the, per the way that person's playing the game is by censoring heck. They think that that's gonna help them, so... Well, that's... that's you know... I, I can only speak directly into my sphere of things, but I've never had any problems with that. I say fuck and bomb in my videos, and they've all been totally fine. Maybe that'll change one day. It might. It was for a while, like, really bad, as far as I know, um, where people, like, couldn't say anything. Um, and then there was that awful, bloody decision to say that you couldn't say fuck in the last like, first, like, seven seconds of the video or, like, 30 seconds of the video. <laughs> Again, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I view things from a bit more of a professional lens because, you know, I was once a radio host, a uh, very high, well-paid, famous radio host. Uh, I don't know. I, I think expecting sponsors to be comfortable or uh, advertisers to be sp to be comfortable with you immediately diving in and saying the fuck word isn't a particularly extreme ask i would agree with you if this wasn't youtube like if this wasn't an internet thing these are th this isn't something that's like unheard of right but it's still in the these corporations spheres. paying to have their their ads put out there and the corporations have youtube by the dick and balls yeah they do they ma they make the rules ultimately more than youtube youtube just count out to it Ooh. i don't know what that does so we, we my, my, my i think my, my kind of modus operandi on it is listen we know it's bullshit but we've just got to play by it because there isn't an alternative yeah, and there, there probably won't be a. This is the best we've be got, honest, for not and I think complaining time. about how shitty the best we've got is isn't. It's not going to change anything, because they 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 don't really step back policy. They have on occasion. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube Creator Alerts, you can, and they go through kind of shit they're working on and feedback that they're considering and stuff like that. It's I watch it occasionally. It's kind of useful. I never watch it. <laughs> but it's um it gives an interesting insight. A lot of it is them just explaining why they've taken a controversial decision and ran with it. Mm. But you got to play ball, okay? You got to play ball. I don't like it, but we're not exactly going to we're not going to overthrow the big baddie. We're just going to get banned ultimately, so <sighs> we truly live in a society. There are no heroes on YouTube. 
Ooh. Ooh. Get, wait, there was an, a full key thing outside. Like oh. a golden key. I know. I don't think it works with the key beggars, No, it doesn't. Though. Ooh. Could you have a nicer topic? What topic would you like? Oh, I just don't know. I feel like this has just been like... We could talk about Spain. Oh, yeah. Like, fucking sort your post out. I'm not going to lie. Absolutely pathetic. I don't know what's been going on recently. Yeah, what's going on, Spain, huh? Is there I've something wrong got... with your post? I ordered some cards like three weeks ago and they're still not here yet. It's always Spain. It's, it has been Spain. <laughs> it's always <Yeah>. Spain. <laughs> What's going on over there, huh? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Something wrong with your post to get to get stuck. Which is the place that's like really crazy good? Austria. Like, I Austria. ordered something You know what? From... The Netherlands as well. Netherlands are really good for posting. Well, I mean, Aust Austria is further away, which is why it yeah. came to mind. But I ordered something from Austria, and it was here in like two days. Yeah, I got something quicker from um, the Netherlands than I, than I did from the UK. Well, yeah, I mean, that was what I said to our friends, wasn't it? That I ordered two things at the same time. One came from the same... Yeah, we, we ordered from the same guy, if you remember. Literally like, the city two, two over from me. We did two different uh, orders. I've actually had people who are in this city that we live in message me and be like, hey, do you go to this local card shop? And I'll be like... No, I'm not. I'm not going to yeah. a card shop to pick up can a card I just from not, a strange yeah. man. Can I not do postage on this, and you can just meet me here? That's fucked up. Yeah, like no, I'm not doing Fuck that. Fuck off. Do your job. I've already paid the postage. Like, do it. Oh, God. I, I, I mean, you'll get your cards quick. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going into some sweaty nerd dungeon, you little weirdo. I don't go to uh, game shops to play very much because we just have our friends in our house. Yeah. Uh, and I can sit on chairs that I know haven't been shit and pissed in. Yeah, and I also, like, <laughs> I, I, can, I can trust that my friends oh! aren't going to be weird. At least not more weird than, you know, our friends are. But some game shops, man. <laughs> it's like the local one. We talked about this before, but the one that literally does have one of those signs that are a meme, but it's, it's uh, yeah, real. Yeah, it's genuinely, please shower. Please shower. Like, please wear deodorant. Users with bad bodily hygiene will be ejected from the premises. It's like, it truly do not do this to us. Oh, God. And it, it, you can, like, I've played in magic clubs back when I was in my second uni. And uh, the the smell is not great. It's it's not even a meme. It's 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 reality. Oops. Oh, what a waste of a bomb. <gasps> like, it's not, it's not a joke anymore. I've experienced it firsthand. My nostrils have been assaulted by their s sweaty crack. And it's always blue-white players as well, which is crazy to me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Did you mention the gathering, Joe, if you right there? <laughs> I love my the gathering, What man. was that thing we were going to talk about? We were like, oh, we'll talk about that in Isaac. Whoopsie. What was it? Yeah, we did say oh, we were going to talk about it in Isaac. Oh, life is strange. Life is strange. Ah, yes. I, I mean this in the politest way. There are only two groups of people who have ever played Life is Strange, okay? The first group are people like myself who played it and cringed out of their arsehole at the dialogue. And the other group are trans women finding themselves. <laughs> and, I mean, look, uh, uh, at least the game, I suppose, has done something positive at that point. This is fucking shit. It's somewhere along the pipeline between Striped Socks and Linux Programmer. <laughs> um, I played it... Back when it came out as a young person, I didn't oh, it's finish fucking it. Fucking dreadful. <laughs> I, I gotta I, say, it's I dreadful. didn't finish it because, uh, frankly, Chloe is one of the worst characters. Just totally unlikable in every. I've ever had to it had to deal with. Like my, I, I had like my boyfriend at the time was like with me. I, I don't remember where we were playing it, but I remember us playing it on a bed, and I was just like, this girl sucks. These are like the worst friends ever. She's it's just like a horrible piece of shit. And like, uh, no homophobia here. I, I fuck women, but I, I don't want to fuck that one. She's awful. Oh my God. <laughs> I fuck women. Do, do you? I mean, not currently. I was going to say. <laughs> I didn't know about that. I mean, you're learning something new today. Um, but yeah, like, no, awful. Chloe's awful. Really just awful characters all I hope around. my IRL friend Chloe doesn't watch this video and is like, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she'd be so confused with the context of life was, is strange. It was a little silly. It was a little silly joke I just made. Um, but yeah, she's awful. Her friend isn't that good either. God, I've forgotten her name. Which one? Um, the the main character, I, Max. So I've, I've watched like a lot of people play it because I find it fascinating watching people's reactions to these absolutely horrendous awful human beings everybody is is like a caricature of a real person and i don't understand how it's won stuff for like good writing awards 
No, the writing's awful. Like it's, it's really just terrible. When we and Sam were talking about it, he said that the writing was really dated. And I was like, it was dated when it came out. Nobody said Hella anymore. Yeah, when but they that made that a motif. Out. That's what Rachel Amber used to say, and then Chloe picked it up from her. Cool. That's how friendships work. Did you ever work. see anybody say play the second game? Uh, which one? The second Life is Strange game. Which one? The the, the second one. No. Life is Strange 2. Listen to me. The one where Chloe's the main character. That's not Life is Strange 2. And this is what I was fucking getting at. So maybe if you actually listen to what I was about to say, motherfucker, because there's Life is Strange, Life is Strange Beyond the Storm, Life is Strange Something About Colors, then there's Life is Strange 2, which came out like two years ago. Okay, I'm okay. so sorry. The so, one that I, I, I knew about, my If apologies. you'd have let me finish my bloody sentence instead of interrupting me, you would now look like a big fool. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> no, not really. Um, I haven't got the energy. Yeah, that that um, brain's not working now. Yeah, you, you play as Chloe. That's beyond yeah. the, That's before the storm, Have sorry. you played that one? Or have seen I've, anybody I've play it? I've watched people play it, yeah. Because the her, uh, Chloe beating people up with her arguments uh, oh, thing awful. is so cringy. Interestingly... Uh, about that particular game, it was uh, made during an Actors Guild strike. Mm -hmm. So they got in a different voice actor for Chloe for that game, oh. even though she was the main character, which was tremendously controversial. Yeah. Scab game. That's just a horrible game series. If you like it, that's good. I'm glad. And I hope it, you know, taught you lessons about yourself. For me, it taught me... Uh, that I could probably be a video game writer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the writing was not great. Um, I think that at the time, a lot of people were really excited because it was like a, a game that was gay and that was not very pop common. It didn't have to be. You could, you could, you could have dated that, You could date that awful boy. Yeah, that awful boy who's like constantly pressuring you into doing stuff no matter how many times you say no. <laughs> All terrible. All terrible people. And then he's got a side piece that he keeps as a backup for if you say no. Because oh, he's that nice. He's like a really nice guy. I do think there are aspects to that game that are like interesting. Like the aspect where, uh, I forget her name, but the the girl that is ends up, you have that choice to save her life when she's about to commit suicide. And suddenly... Oh, Kate, Kate Marsh. Yeah, and you lose the... Um, ability to no turn the time back in that section and i think that's an interesting thing to play with but um sadly like it doesn't they just did that they, they couldn't have made a reason in in the universe for why this can't be changed that like makes sense they just like made it so you can't do it in that one moment like you could make a truly interesting what thing does it out do i don't know i've not seen it it's t it's time warp from magic the gathering oh that's what the card is referencing. There's oh. loads of Magic Gathering there references in this, game. in this game. There are in this game. Oh, God. Every single pill room sucks. Don't talk about the game. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've, just, I've just been looking at them like, oh, ugh, yucky. Have we got stuff on there to talk about, Les? I'm sure we must. Oh, no, I don't have my phone on me. Oh, no. I'll have to get your phone no. and see if there's anything on there. Yeah, there's loads on there. About 700 pictures of the dog. Just fair warning. There are 100,000 pictures of the dog. I send him pictures of the dog all the time. Okay. Oh, God. I'm trying to get to... Your phone is so hard for me to use in my little tiny hands. We have the same phone. Yeah, but my phone's got the pop socket on the back. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> right. We're going to give you the poison and then sell you the cure. I don't think... We, I think we've done all these. Yeah, I was going to say, because because tier review's kind of on indefinite pause until we find a good recording solution, I haven't been writing down yeah. the usual stuff. I said something the other day, and you were like, that's so funny, why didn't we do that on tier review? I think it was uh, it was just us uh, riffing It was something absolutely disgusting, as far as I recall. Yeah, we were just making jokes to each other. Like, unfathomably vile. Oh, dude, yeah, Jesus speaking Christ. Of, <laughs> um... Yeah, it's just us being being weird with being each other. Being awful people, yeah. It's, well, it's fun. So how we have fun. There is this one, which I don't know if we did. Oh, dear. Go on. Which is, what are the best and worst British accents? Oh, we didn't. We haven't done this. Uh, it's easy, though. Okay, what's your Worst, opinion? Scouse. And I'm sorry, that's not a controversial opinion. Uh, I disagree. Brum. Oh, no. No uh, way. Not even in the thick, same... Thick Brummy is awful. No, it's fine. It's not great, but it's not terrible. I used to have a really good Brummy friend, and uh, that accent was something. 
I mean, it's not a nice... Uh, uh, listen, listen. You're not going to get many audiobooks done in it, okay? <laughs> Scouse is way worse. It's, it sounds like... Scouse people sound like they're having trouble talking. They do, yeah. Scouse, uh, for those of you not in the UK, is Liverpool. Liverpoolian. Which is in the northeast of the United Kingdom. Yeah. Uh, northwest of the United Kingdom. I know my yeah. life west from East UK. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, my favorite accent, though, that's difficult to say. I don't really have one. Uh, oh, Jesus, yeah. Favorite UK accents. I feel like it's purely a societal thing, but obviously received pronunciation is considered to be like... I feel like... I, I've got friends Why that... are the fucking bosses invisible? I don't know. It's really getting on my tits. Is it like a curse or something? No, it's just a bug. Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> I um, have a friend that's pretty RP when she talks. She might be here. Hello. Um... And I'm, I don't want to. I don't want to make you sad, but oh, it's like, I automatically assume if somebody speaks like that, they're, they're probably a wanker. Yeah, no, no, no. That's that's <laughs> it. Yeah, no, I, I, I 100% agree. You're right. So sorry. <laughs> um, it's just I just work under the assumption because I've met some like I had a friend that was like um not RP like she was like Southern though from somewhere. Uh, in RP the is South. Uh, received pronunciation. It's it's like um. I, I think that the friend that I'm, I, I'm, I was talking about isn't 100%. She's just posh. But Like, received pronunciation is... How would you even describe it? It's like proper, proper it's English. It's like Queen English. It's what educated people... It's how educated people would sound. It's not like, you know, like, like oh, yeah, it's very good. Oh, uh, you know, the family guy meme English voice. Mm. That's like, like royalty, like aristocracy level. Which is related, but not quite the same. It's kind of... That sounds more like Boris Johnson, really. Yeah, uh, like Boris is kind of... Received pronunciation, kind of like Stephen Fry, Sandy Totsvig. Yeah, yeah. Um, very famously, what's his bloody name? Uh, uh, oh, God, what's his bloody name? Pantomime actor, gay, famously. Christopher... Oh, God, I don't know. Someone. Oh, shit. Yeah. I, I think I do know. But yes, my brain's you will know gone. Him. Uh, he had elocution lessons and famously is like very, very RP. Yeah. Just posh. Just basically posh. I, I mean, the problem is regional dialects are all hideous. No, they're not. They they are, though. Uh, uh, some of them are the thickest. Like, I, I'm from Yorkshire, which is obvious to people that know, but. Um, like Sean Bean. Yes, like Sean Bean and like uh, Jean-Luc Picard. Patrick Stewart is from Yorkshire, but he doesn't sound it. He's a bit more RP. He, but got, that's because he's cause Shakespearean. He did Shakespeare. Yeah. Um, he can actually do his accent and do, do the Yorkshire dialect really well when he chooses to. Um, which is why I count him as being actually from Yorkshire, unlike <laughs> unlike Gordon Ramsay, who does not do not count as Scottish. <laughs> his mum counts as Scottish. Ironically, he Gordon Ramsay is is quite RP. Yeah, he's but that's again, that's uh, kind of his, his presentation. That's kind of how. Yeah, I just I people that um, are from my area, but like just have not got the accent. I'm like suspicious. I'm like, why? <laughs> why don't you have the? accent? You don't have the accent. I do though. You don't. On certain words, you do. Like cup and up. And bath and path. You have that re recessed Grass. vowel. Yeah. Yeah. But you I, don't. That's like saying particular words. I haven't lost my accent though entirely. When I go back entirely. home. Entirely. I haven't lost my accent entirely. She just said without a hint of irony. I haven't lost it entirely. I haven't lost my accent, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want that. Jack. I have not lost my accent. I'm very sorry that it's you had to learn Bosa. it. It's Barbosa. Oh God, he's so tiny. He's oh. such a teeny little guy. Thanks, uh, I grew it myself. <laughs> sorry, what were we talking about? We were talking oh, about you, my yeah, accent. Oh, you not having an accent. Yeah, I nonsense. do have an accent though. You, you have a very muted. I do have a muted accent, but um. Because when you listen to Game of Thrones, and you hear Sean Bean. Yeah. When you hear like Sansa though, and she just doesn't sound your no. at all. No, you know what she sounds like? Received pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it does. It is interesting that like some of the actors they they chose to sound uh, chose people Kit that Harrington sound like they're from uh, their area. Did that kind of uh, yeah that like. I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> I can't even do my own accent on Danny, purpose though. You I, are I, my queen. It comes out when I'm annoyed. I thought Ouija board let you fly. But I realise that's Spirit of the Night, which is another Magic the Gathering card, by the way. <laughs> Just so you know. Oh, we should uh, we should try and get Edmund to play a game against us. Who? <laughs> Edmund McMillan. 
Oh, yeah, no, he's quite a big Magic the Gathering fella. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think he... he designed a card. Did he? Yeah, if oh, I'm not mistaken. Cool. What was in the... Oh, whatever. Moving on. You're right. No, you you don't have your talk... accent, but you're... I wouldn't call you RP either. No. I'm, you're just I'm, neutral. I'm, yeah, I'm just, like, neutral. And this is pretty much... Everyone will sound like me. Yeah, in a long time, I think just everyone's going to sound Every the same. accent is going to go neutral. You're going to have a lot of American influence... And it, truly, that is already a thing. I, I am vice versa. I mourn the loss of our regional accents and our dialects. Per, uh, uh, I don't. I do. You can't be like, oh, Birmingham shit, Scouse is shit, and then be like, oh, I mourn the loss of our regional accents. I, I can say that and still think it's sad to lose it. You know, um, it makes me sad personally because, like, people from my area, at least when I was young, the accent people was still from there. My area. The accent, well, if you go back to, to my hometown and listen to the way people talk and then go to the town over, we sound different. Well, that's true of everywhere in yeah, Europe. Yeah, it's true, but, like, it's it's all going to just become an amalgamation of just the generic British accent. Is that accent. necessarily a bad thing? Increased communication between people. <sighs> I would not personally say that that's such a bad thing. I don't think that it's a, it's a problem to be able to talk with other people, but we all, like, at this point, all speak English. Um. So, ooh, oh, oh! <laughs> I saw that you got a thing, and then I was like, oh, ooh. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I'll cry at all when regional accents are gone. It's nostalgia, and people wanted to feel special about being sounding slightly different as an excuse for not speaking any other languages. <laughs> is that controversial of me to say? Absolutely not. It's the truth. It's factual. I think it is Look controversial. It we do have a friend that is Cornish. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and he can't speak a lick of Cornish. He cannot speak a lick of Cornish. I think that my accent and my um, um, connection to Yorkshire, in, at least vocally, is closer uh, than his. But people from like, I've known from Cornwall have got, like, really neutral accents. They don't have, like, that tr traditional accent anymore. All right, me, love. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's West Country. I mean, yeah, but yeah, your your grandma's got way more of an accent than your mum, and you have like no accent. Well, yeah, no, exactly that, yeah. Um, my Blame parents, the internet. My, like my nana and granddad, it's really funny because like the, my family was always considered when I was young to not sound Yorkshire enough. Uh, once I got asked to play the Queen in a thing for some kids because they uh, they thought I sounded posh enough. You're not. You're not. Which is hilarious. Totally neutral. No. But I think... I, I, I think depending on... If you were to, like, read a thing out of a book, depending on what words were there, would would totally determine whether or not people were able to guess where you're from. I, people never guess where I'm from. People always think that I'm from Manchester. Bruh, the YouTube comment section, I get Canada, Australia. I've had more than a few about Australia. Somebody asked me if I was from Canada when I was back, back up north. Don't know why. Canada is north, though. Oh, true. <laughs> Oh, no, wait, god damn, I, you've had my pants down to there, To be fair, fella. the majority of Canadians live more south than the majority of British people. Did you know that? But we've just... You fucking do now. We're just in the, like, the, what, the Gulf Stream? Like, we've got some sort of, like, hot stream of, it like, water. It's it's the Gulf Stream. Um, some hot stream of water. Mm. And that makes uh, our climate a little bit warmer. Uh, yeah, it's practically tropical here. Honestly, the weather here has been nuts recently. I don't know what's going I, on. I went out and mowed the lawn earlier. And then just as I stopped mowing the lawn, because it was like sunny and dry. And then the second I stopped mowing the lawn, it started hailing. And, I and was it was like, like hailing. It was like insane. It was painful hail. Mabel Mabel came outside to see what was going on and immediately ran back in and like No, 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 say it properly. What, what am I saying? She did a 360 and walked away. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I hate your bit. It's, 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 oh, it's such a, terrible a good bit because the amount of people that stumble on it, it, it just it, it gives breaks me my life. brain every time, man. It gives me life. Look at that. You got a nice little guy. Don't talk about the game. Why? Because nobody knows about this game. It's an old game for old men. Old men? Old men. This I... game first came out like 2005. It's, it's still updating, though. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's an, old, it's an old man game. I'm sorry. Someone has to say it. Ah. Oh. Mm. I have a hunger. We've both been on a diet recently. Jesus, please. God, don't... I mean, I've lost a shitload of weight, but, like... Food is the ultimate pleasure in life. I'm sorry. No amount of drink, drugs, sex, uh, or, or whatever else people do for fun. Video games, allegedly, but I'm not sure I agree with that one. 
nothing compares to a delicious meal. I'm sorry. It just does not work. And I, here's the thing. I do not understand people who, who eat for convenience, right? People who buy fucking Huel and they're like, oh, it's convenient. You are an insane, insane person. The only reason worth getting out of bed is to eat food. I have gone to bed early so that I can wake up and eat food some nights, <laughs> okay? It's, it's life's greatest pleasure, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the fact that we've been on this diet has been killing me. To be fair, it's been fine. Yeah. I, I haven't been, like, close to throwing in the towel or anything like that. You know how you get, like, old women who go to... Slim, slimming World. Slim, that's it, Slimming World. I was going to say uh, Fat Fighters, but that's from Little Britain, isn't it? <laughs> um, <laughs> and if you're feeling hungry, you could just have a little bit of dust. There you are. Good reference. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. It was great. That was one of the rare episodes where they weren't horribly, horribly, horribly racist. racist. Yeah. I did not like Little Britain as a young that person. That show is aging worse and worse as the years tick yeah. by. Tell and what's me about crazy it. is some of the episodes came out like 2013. Uh, no, that's come fly with me. Yeah, no, but, but I mean, that, that was... That is... Oh, that's the same people, I think, as... Um... The guy was in... I, I mean, it goes beyond blackface. He dressed up as a Jamaican woman who didn't want to work because she was lazy. Like, it was fucked up. And the fact that it was, like, it was it around on TV. I'm sure we've complained about this before, but yeah. it's, like, one of those things that's so crazy unbelievable. It was on the fucking BBC. It was on the BBC. A comedian dressing like, up as a Jamaican woman. Like, 11 years woman. ago. And then claiming that God made her not want to work. I remember being work. in high school and people would, like, quote that all the time. That's the problem. It was a very quotable show because it was five-minute sketches of extreme shock humor. So, obviously, like, teenagers fucking loved it. Yeah. Like, I watched it. Well, I had a friend that absolutely bloody loved um, Little Britain. Like, it was, like, her favorite show. That was, like, a cultural phenomenon when it came out because it was so extreme compared to a lot of other... Especially being on the BBC. It was never my cup of tea, even back then. Um, but, you know, uh, the sign of the times, like everything else. Ooh. It's crazy, though. I genuinely just can't, like, I, w I watched a little bit of it recently, and it's... It, we, w we watched a clip from it, didn't we? It was when they put on bad. artificial eyelids to try and look like Japanese schoolgirls, and then quite literally do the stereotypical, I'm not going to do it. They, right. they basically imagine Chinatown from Vampire the Masquerade Blood Lines, but even worse. Like, worse. They do the Breakfast at Tiffany's Mr. Yuniyoshi act, and it's just horrific. Yeah. Ugh. I can't even describe it, because if I do it, it yeah, I get put uh, in prison. It, it would be like... <laughs> it's a hate crime in 2024. <laughs> it was a hate crime back then. Well, I, I mean, cannot was, imagine but... being a Japanese person in the UK watching the that program that's fucking yeah. nuts I've been anybody anybody watching that program oh my god yep. hasn't aged well nope not hasn't at all I don't think it'll get like a blu-ray release or like a <laughs> you know I, I do doubt that yeah ooh those guys are invisible right normally yes what does a toilet roll do? Uh, familiars are stuck in one spot and can't move. It's also duct tape. Don't mix those up in real life because that will be... Oh, uh, it's free wax though, isn't it? A horrible surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I want to wax. You don't know me. I wouldn't wax with duct tape. It probably wouldn't work very well. All right, this is like... A, this is a, a... We're in the womb, so we can talk about this. Pads... <laughs> For periods, right, for okay, people that go. don't know. Are you going to say the sticky stuff on the side? The sticky stuff on the side literally just rips your pubes out, man. It is awful. Terrible. It like it, It's supposed P to stick Personally, to, I haven't encountered that. It, you're supposed to stick to your underwear. Um, but the problem is that if it decides it's not going to stick, or if you stick it on a tiny bit wrong and there's a bit still showing, it'll like stick to your leg and it'll just kill you. And it hurts so much. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you didn't have such a massive pussy, <laughs> you wouldn't need a parachute pad. You <gasps> <laughs> lean away from the mic then because he was laughing so hard. It's a <gasps> joke. <laughs> oh, that's good. Ah. Write that down. That's good. That, see, now that humor's not going to age well. Well, that humor. 15 years' time, I'm going to be decried as a misogynist. For shaming you. I mean, the, you could probably get that now. You can say I got a small pee pee. That's fine. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want this. Oh, God. 
My neck hurts. I slept on it funny last night. That's mad. That is a, that's a great story, Mark. Well, what else am I supposed to say? You I'm, just have a conversation. We're, not a con we're just okay, have a chat. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Um, what do you want to talk about, little fella? Uh, I've got a lineup of games for this channel. Oh, yeah. I'm going to float some. There's one that's secret that I can't talk about. You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, I know which one you're talking um, about. There's Lies of P, which is uh, Bloodborne, kind of, mm -hmm. which I, I want to have a look at because people are saying like how good it is. Yeah. And given that Bloodborne is still, as far as I'm concerned, unplayable. Yeah, the because the fr we 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 got it on PlayStation. Yeah, and we got it on like that PlayStation Plus thing. The frame rate is so terrible; it made me feel sick. I I would I was prepared to be a hater on what Sam was saying and be like, "Nah, it's fine." Nah, it genuinely wasn't. It really is unplayable. Going from like <laughs> modern Dark Souls back to that. Yeah, I, just, I love Dark Souls three as well so much. Like if you played Elden Ring or whatever, and it's smooth as butter, and then you go back to that. Absolute to be fair, clunky mess. When I played Elden Ring, it was not smooth as butter. <laughs> Why? That was. Do you remember when it first came out? Oh, and it, it had kept like crashing. Cra it was like awful performance issues I if had, you were I outside crashes, on your goddamn yeah. horse. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't. I, I never completed that game, um, and it's a shame because I know that it, a part of me probably would enjoy it, but nah, I'm good. It's, yeah, it's not for me. Um, the open world is too much for me. Yeah, I just like being pointed in a straight line and having skill checks that increase over the course of a game. Yeah. That's people, that's all I want. People seeing my performance in Bloodlines are going to be surprised at how good I am at Dark Souls. <laughs> I would use the term good relative to you. Yeah. There are people who are like good at I'm Dark not, Souls. I, bro, I'm not saying I'm actually an expert at Dark Souls. Jesus. I know, but 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 when when if someone says I'm good at Dark Souls, I think that like relatively you'd imagine them to be like... I'm not one of those no-hit-run people. I just, like, I'm much better at Dark Souls than they are. I can actually, like, do Dark Souls 3 really well, all things considered. I think Dark Souls 3 is easiest to get into. I think Dark Souls 3 is, like, the perfect gateway. But uh, I do know one person who um, played Dark Souls 3 and absolutely fucking hated it uh, because he c c basically, like, couldn't beat... Um, I don't remember which boss he got stuck on. John Deere. <laughs> it would be funny for words. But he uh, he couldn't beat a boss, and because it's quite linear, he couldn't beat right. the boss. I, I think that's a problem for a lot of people in that it, it really is make or break quite fast, isn't it? Yeah. And for a lot of people, that's quite a barrier to entry because nobody wants to drop... Uh, it's, literally, Dark Souls 3 on PlayStation is still thirty nine. Yeah, it's, like, it's ridiculous. Like, who's paying that? I wonder if they've done that because of people getting into Souls games through Elden Ring. Yeah. And now people are like, oh, I, I, I want to play another one. I'll play Dark Souls 3. I'll play Dark Souls 3 because that makes the most sense because it's most similar to Elden Ring, right? Yeah. Ooh. Back again. Which was which? I oh, don't no, is this, is this always been a curse of the. Okay. Uh, sod it. Oh, no, that's bad. Ah, uh, you've got the D6. You're fine. Oh, I'm um, going to take this one too. Sod it. Oh, well, that's not very good. Okay, that was pretty terrible. What was I going to see? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was thinking about Dark Souls, but now my brain is is full of goat head. Goat anyway, ham. Uh, Lies of P is on my to-do list. Now, the only reason I'm not sure about that one is because... Is it P or pie? What? P or pie. Lies of P is literally just the letter P. Oh, P. Because I, I was thinking, like, is it P-I or... No, it's P-E-E. -E. Oh, And piss. the lie is, I haven't just done it in my pants. Oh, <laughs> got <him. laughs> I have a serious problem. Okay, what are you doing now then? What are we talking about now then? Are we still going about Life of P or are we going to move on? Yeah, to no, I was going to say the only problem with, it, with a game like that is I think they can be quite exclusionary because a lot of people... I, I find that the Souls games are like kind of Marmite. Yeah, people... I don't think people are just like, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I, I kind of into Souls games. Yeah. You don't just play those casually, right? Yeah, like I played Dark Souls 2 on this channel a Fucking while ago. Dark Souls 2. You played it recently, and you said you were not having a good time, man. <laughs> it's not aged. But to be fair, I did a weird build, but it also hasn't aged well. It feels like shit to play if you played Dark Souls 3 first. Yes, I, I think that was your problem. I played Dark Souls 2 first. Yeah, and I played Dark Souls 3, which is much less jank and is a faster game overall. I, I did fine. I beat it. I, I actually, because people were, like, really annoyed that I didn't do well against, like, the that one boss the, oh, the ancient the, dragon no the flame man 
Is he the ancient dragon? Flame man? The one that you meet all the way through the game. He's from the DLC or something. Oh, Aldia. Yeah, and I did a bad job fighting that boss because I just, like, couldn't did figure you? it out. Yeah, um, it was because I was just, like... I've never seen this boss before in my life, by the way. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm fighting right now. <gasps> uh, but, yeah, I did a, it did a bad job on that, that boss. Um, uh, it's a weird boss, though, But, like, I beat harder bosses normally. So, it just it's down to your, what you're personally able to deal with. Yeah, you for know? sure. Certain bosses are going to be easier for certain people. Um, I, I find that is more frustrating than the game. The backseating. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. Playing it to an audience is very different. It's really different. I play way better when I'm not playing on camera. I like all the Souls games. I like. I like. I, I don't think I've played one that I've disliked. Besides other than Bloodborne. Bloodborne. But, but you didn't dislike that for the game. You've that's a technical the... problem. I would really like Bloodborne if I could play it. If it was on PC, we would play it. Oh, well, yeah, without a shadow of doubt. And that's yeah. why I said Liza P. But my... Well, we've been playing... Oh, sorry, this is moving on a bit. We've been playing Demon I just, Souls. You just died. Oh, F. We really probably should end this episode soon. No, keep going. All right. Uh, we've been... Um, <laughs> brain's not working anymore. Demon Souls. We've play, been Umbasa. playing Demon Souls. Umbasa. And it's been really good. It's good, yeah, the remake. Yeah, been playing on play the PlayStation. It's really the good. remake is so similar to the original in art style and direction they and did a great job with the art in this game i watched a comparison video the, 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 the gameplay feels quite different but the, the, it doesn't it doesn't feel like you're playing a I mean, I mean it feels like dark souls it doesn't feel like dark souls 3 mm. but the original demon souls was so unbelievably clunky like you could only dodge in one of eight directions oh yeah and we had to test that when we got to the game didn't we we were like god can we please and like the grasses and the ice and carry and world tendency it was all like such a ball ache i do, but... do still think that the the gems like the millions of different gems for your weapons is so like exclusionary to people that don't know what's going on like <laughs> It's it's a hard. I think that's the hardest game to get into just because of its. I think the play, gameplay wise, though, I've really enjoyed it. It's fun. It's really yeah. good. It's really well made. Um, but I've got the like we we've both got the benefit of having played Dark Souls games before. I'd say it's Dark Souls adjacent. Like it doesn't play like Dark Souls Three does. No, no. Um, it feels like it sounds weird to say. It feels a lot more grounded, like <laughs> f physically feet planted on the floor, grounded. Mm. But not in the same way that Dark Souls 2 is like slow and floaty at the same time. Mm. Feels heavy. Yeah. Feels I, like weight. It's got like a lot of weighty, weight behind it. Yeah. Yeah. I get what you mean. Like, I, I, I think that the best part for me has been that all of the areas feel different. That, well, they, yeah, they very much are. And that, that's true of like a lot of the places in, in all of the Souls games, you know? They, they try and make you Especially have different Dark types Souls of a, uh, area. Um,. A lot of people didn't like, I think in Dark Souls 3, uh, or like, no, Dark Souls 2, well, there was a lot of... Um, Ev well, everything was just totally nonsensical. Like, well, there's men with armor a lot, bosses it's and things like that. It's all men with armor, and then it's like, here I am in a poison swamp that looks straight out of Resident Evil, I go up and lift, and now I'm in Japanese Samurai Fire Demon Castle. Yeah. And I, I think that the, the tonality, the... the I kind of like that. ethos of the game was just totally fucked. I, I, I'm going to say this right now. Dark Souls 2 was less frustrating than the end of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Yeah, I mean, it's still <laughs> Souls game, isn't it? It's just still way less frustrating. My um, my ultimate point was going to be Lies of P I'm interested in, but I don't know how well it would be to watch, and I yeah. don't know if people would enjoy watching it. And then I was going to say, uh, what if we alternate games? Yeah. Because I, I said this to you the other day, privately, that it was a secret. That <laughs> I, I feel like Vampire in some ways is kind of exclusionary because people who aren't interested in that... And like, not going to watch And it. don't want to watch, like, an old game or whatever. I've basically just had, like, two months of a drought. So yeah. Sorry, I'm drinking water loudly into the mic. That's very professional. I'm thirsty. I'm sorry. Right, this is like working in a restaurant where they're like, sorry, please don't drink in front of the customers. Yeah, you shouldn't drink in front of the customers. And it's like, are you serious? People need to drink to live, man. Oh, oh I agree with that. No sitting down if you work in a supermarket. If you sat at the tills, that's wrong. We weren't allowed to do that. Even though there were stools that were perfectly till height, we weren't allowed to do it. <laughs> it's just ridiculous, man. You're resetting a lot. We're never going to end this episode, oh, are I'm doing we? Uh, speedrun tactics where you uh -huh. just keep resetting until you get, like, something good. Polyphemus. There was one time, this, but when, back when Sam used to play this game a lot, and he did, like, a daily. 
And I got a top 10 score yeah, he in was the like that. I was good at this once, despite what I've done today. Yeah. I like playing super risky, though. I think that's the most fun way to play. Yeah. Because if you take this game super safe and super slow, when you've got like 60 hours in it, I feel like you could win every single run no well, matter what. I think what. you can, right? I think it's like basically impossible. It becomes so predictable. That's why I'm like all in on devil deals. Only run around with one heart. Well, who is that guy that, like, has done 8 billion episodes of Isaac? Not Northern Line. He doesn't even play it anymore, I don't Cobalt think. Street. Yeah, I think Cobalt. Like, he... So there's Brim Snap. He the, had, like, a ridiculously long streak. Brim Snap. Because he just played conservatively. Yeah. If you play safely, I really just do not think you can lose in this game. But that's also the most boring stuff. You go back and you check for all your... You get your teleport to and you do all the clear all the rooms that teleport to the arrow rooms. You check all the bombs for the... Uh, the, the secret market places with your with your uh, thunder thighs or your ball and chain and it's just so boring take the tech two and have a fun time i i'm not saying that it, it's bad and, like, for everyone optimal but item choices too not 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 the most fun for everyone <laughs> no i know i understand why people don't like this game um i personally hate this game playing it uh i like watching people play it like people that are better than me at this game <laughs> Which currently is not me, because I haven't played this game properly in very long time. <laughs> years you, you, you and years. You played it for like your second channel to do like a talk, I think, or like for your it's Patreon. It's just great. I think background crap. It really is. Yeah. Because it's so mindless. Yeah, you just play the game. I, I tried playing original Isaac, and honestly, that was hell. Oof, oh, horrible. Wrath of the Lamb is uh horrible. That's a hard sell. That got a, a difficulty like patch as well to make it way harder mm. a eternal mode i want to say or something like that yeah that game is tough and it's the bloodborne problem of it being in like two frames a second mm. so if you've got any games you want to recommend chuck them at me yeah just just put them in the comments i've got a another fun one lined up um which is like a uh, an fmv murder mystery type game which yeah. is a lot of fun there's one that i know will be a club banger we should just play fucking room world <laughs> <laughs> doing an episode of RimWorld will be will be fun. Um, I st I think you playing and me. I haven't played RimWorld in ages, but I, I I've got over a thousand hours. By the way, it's in a totally RimWorld. different game from when you've played it. We, yeah. You were playing it like beta. I was. I was playing it. I've got a thousand hours in the game before the game was officially out. Yeah. Uh, but then I I decided to drop it because I was like I've got other games to play, and then I just never went back to it. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. Uh, I was the one that got Sam into RimWorld, so... Suppose you were. I was. I'm the reason you ever played it. You've done pretty well out of it, though, to be fair. I mean, true. <laughs> In before another person is like, wow, gold digger, which has happened. You are a gold digger. Yeah, that's why I'm with Sam. You played the, you played the long con. I played the long con. I was like, this man, he's going to be YouTube one day. I've seen your old videos. God, I'm sorry to hear that. I've the, just the lost my deal with the first time I ever chance. heard Sam's voice was on a YouTube channel he had with his friend. Keep it, keep it generic. <laughs> yes, I will. I don't mind talking about it, but I don't know about the other parties involved. Yeah, that's um, that's the only reason why I wouldn't. Because it wasn't just him; it was like his friends at the time. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't link to it or anything like that. Because I, I, well, your out friends, of respect for other people. Unironically, like, so I'm not gonna say this is like, it's it's a bit cringe. <laughs> it's quite a bit cringe uh -huh. in that like uh he showed this to a girl that he'd met at university like first week definitely first week maybe first day brave uh and it was it was not a a cool youtube video it was very funny to me though i, I had know a great i know time. The, the, you're talking about the trailer yes i am that was one of the, the first trailer. times i'd ever done like animation and voice acting on youtube yes and i loved it because it was awful <laughs> And I still remember it to this day. I quote it sometimes. I tried to the find house. it, but it's really just It's been... gone. The Wayback Machine doesn't have it. When I stopped, uh, well, I basically lost contact with everyone else on the channel. Because we all just, you know how it goes. You're friends with people in high school and you just stop talking for a while. I was like, I should probably delete these videos. Because I don't know if they're still comfortable with them being up or whatever. Yeah. And then I wanted to try and find it again, but it just could not. Like, even on the Wayback Machine, like, it's just it's just gone from existence. It's so sad because I love that video. I could probably recreate it. I, oh, no, but it won't be the same because it doesn't have the people in it. No, it will <laughs> And, bizarre uh, clusterfuck, the, it? The, the, the hilarious parts of it was the fact that it was like, I, I assume 17-year-olds doing the world's worst voice acting. 
and it was Whoa, so mine wasn't good. bad. What the fuck? It was pretty. Yours was probably the best in the video. What the but that fuck? Wasn't, were, <laughs> I can't quote any of it just in case, but it's so funny. Um, it's not like offensive, by the way, for people that are worried about that. It's just. It's just I, I, yeah, it's like us talking about each other. So it's like, again, a bit weird. So. Oh, God. Yeah. What a great video. Iconic. I can't believe like a, iconic. a guy showed that to me like first week of uni like to impress me that's great <laughs> yeah that was the wrong choice it was the wrong choice to impress someone i think but you know I, it's because they found out i liked a thing that was mutual to your channel you know because you've had a lot of youtube channels over the years uh, i think that's why i just did it for a laugh one of the reasons why you managed to become as popular as you were was purely just because you were uh, sorry, R. I did fall off. I mean, I meant right, right at the start. I meant like oh, when yeah. you first started, you already had a level of um, understanding how to make videos. Partly because of that radio stuff you used to do, but also because you've just been on the internet. You grew up doing this stuff. I was like, just for fun. <laughs> first generation internet raised. You know. Yeah. I remember four years old, booting up my Windows ninety five and. Uh, not really going on the internet, actually, because a lot of the time it just straight up did not work. Yeah, we still had dial-up back then. Yeah, it was just not worth the hassle. I had a Barbie game on my computer. I had a computer, like, a family computer, obviously not my own, when I was, like, really young, like, before I was four. Going home from... And I would play the Barbie game. From primary school, loading up my Windows ME, going on Google videos and looking up Dragon Ball Z full movies... And Postman Pat voiceover parodies. Oh my god. And cackling to my. Like, Yu Gi Oh! The Abridged was yeah, originally on Google. Yu Gi Oh! The Abridged uh, series was a banger. Because YouTube was what, like 2007? So that was way too late for. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, a lot of people had, like, stuff on. God, what was the Smosh website? Was it just Smosh? Because, like, Smosh had their own. Sh sure, it was. Website. Sure, it sure was, yeah. That had Smosh. stuff on it. Com. And then there was... Um, Newgrounds. Newgrounds is obvious, an obvious the, one. The animation and also like a lot of weird porn. Yeah, a lot of weird porn. I, my, my first interaction messed with hentai up, was on Newgrounds. Yeah, like messed up kids for um, life. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what There's it was. There's a bunch of I, superheroes it, having anal sex. I, that was genuinely it. Like it was <laughs> it was tentacle porn of the, the Teen Titans. I don't even know what that is, bro. Teen Titans? No, I meant the item in there. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> what? Tentacles? You know, tentacle like, They could name this this episode. Thank God there's no tentacles again. Thank God there are no tentacles, yeah. Oh, my God. By the way, as we're recording this, I think you've kind of spoiled it. We have finished Vampire Masquerade Bloodlines. Oh, I thought we were putting this after Bloodlines. Not oh, no, lie. I was going to insert it. Oh, really? What's that bang? You feel that? That was my foot moving on my chair, mate. Oh, I thought the neighbours were hammering on the wall because we're playing Isaac. At I don't think so. I mean, we, we got home from the shop earlier and they were like singing. So, uh, singing loud enough that I could hear it outside. <laughs> I didn't hear it. You didn't hear it? I mean, I, you are deaf. I, I, legally deaf, by the way. Yeah. Le <laughs> Even though I hear way more than you. It's true. We, I've got like... I'm like Daredevil. My other ear became like <laughs> 250%. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, God. It's the wooden spoon. I wouldn't have taken that. I need to piss again. Yeah? That episode, people were like, did she piss? Like, yeah. I've been on a <laughs> liquid diet, more or less. Taking a few days off just so I didn't go totally mad. Uh, but even then, like, strict diet food, right? Mm. I haven't had this problem. I drink a lot of water, though. I'm yeah, always I've... thirsty when I'm on a diet. I mean, yeah, that's that's kind of how it goes, right? Yeah, so I'm, I drink a lot of water. Also, I have a lot of soup. I fucking love soup. I fucking hate soup. Soup is great. Oh I, my god! I, genuinely, the second I make this my diet's over, I'm putting all the weight back on. I'm not within within like the first week. I'm uh, gonna I'm gonna eat some. That would be quite impressive, to be fair. It would be. I'm gonna eat so much pizza, you will not believe it. I just can't, I just absolutely. Oops. Oh I my god! Are you serious? Cannot wait. Maybe we should finish the episode here. It's been an hour. Give me one last run. One last run. This is long. One last run. I'm gonna make this a good one. We're gonna we're gonna go. We're gonna find something we're gonna go awesome. With the bang. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do something great. That was a good one. That was a good run. Man, I don't even know like some of the enemies I'm fighting in the game at this point because I'm so like out of it. <laughs> Honestly, I saw Curse of the Lost then, and I was like, I would reset seeing that. I'm just so like off the off off the wagon. That's not the right expression. Um, what am I? Off. Uh, off, like, I was gonna say off the cuff. That doesn't work either. Off the cuff. What the? F what are you talking about? I, I I just said it was wrong, mate. 
<laughs> oh, God. Okay. It's Parasite. Yeah, like that film. Like that anime. My yeah, favourite anime. anime. Oh, my God. That was just a, a, a Peter PSA in disguise. <laughs> we were doing an... Like, this is something I'm going to call out Paul for. Um, we were all, like, hanging out doing anime opening quizzes because, of course, we were... I don't like, even watch it was anime. Like I need to emphatically clarify that. And I just have a broad knowledge of media. I, I And the Parasite opening came on. Do not like anime. And we were like, whoa, it's Parasite. And the thing is, like, Paul's so weird. Like, we that, that gaming quiz was so bad. It was like gaming soundtrack quiz. And Mario came on. And he didn't know what Mario was. Oh, I'm a PlayStation guy. You're a FIFA guy. Shut up. He didn't know Tetris. I was like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> How do you live your life and just never hear these? It's like, it rem reminded me that, like, maybe we're not normal. <laughs> well, I'm going to hit you with a controversial take here. Yeah. Nintendo kids, mm -hmm. like, ha I think have a much broader knowledge. I guess so, because we were both Nintendo of kids. Of games. And I think PlayStation and Xbox are the more... A quotation mark normie. I was going to say they're the more gamer gamers. It's it's like Call of Duty for uh, 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 Halo and that other one. <laughs> that other one. <laughs> Which I like other Gears one? Of War and I was, shit, say, I was gonna say Gears of War. And I feel like I, I don't know. I feel like Nintendo gamers have a much larger uh, vocabulary of video games. It's only because like I a think lot more cultured. A lot of kids that played Nintendo were playing like. I mean... Well, Nintendo had, like, the classics, right? They had a lot of the classics, but also, like, if you play Nintendo, you probably knew about, like, stuff on the, like, the early PlayStation anyway. And other platforms. It just... Because the thing is, I'm the same age as Paul. So Paul was like, oh, well, I'm not ancient like you. And we'd be like, Tetris came out before any of us were born, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's, like, barely, barely that much younger than me. He's technically older than me by a few months. It's not the. It's, it's literally just that he has never. He's he's he plays games, but he's only ever played games on like Xbox and PlayStation. He's never really gone out of that. He didn't get a PC until you built him one recently. Yeah. So I, it kind of shows me the difference between gamers because a lot of people, uh, I guess, because it, it's a meme and capital G gamers are often um, <laughs> something. Uh, here's, the, here's the thing, so right? When I was a kid, I didn't consider myself a gamer because I played Nintendo stuff and people would be like, oh, that's a girl's console. Back, I, I was <laughs> going to say, back in the day, like Xbox and PlayStation, those were the big boy consoles. Those were for, like, grown-ups. You know, mm. that's where you play your big boy games. But nowadays... Your big boy I look games at, like Fable. I yeah. look at PlayStation and Xbox gamers and I, I look at them as boys. I look at them as children. <laughs> I think that <laughs> it's, it's the people who play FIFA and then there's the people that play shit like this. <laughs> we can do, That's how you can divide the world. Everything's bipartisan. You see, it's full circle. Full, full you can circle. put people who've played FIFA in one category and then people who've played... Uh, Any part of gaming history. <laughs> Sonic Adventure 2 in the other category. I have played some Sonic Adventure 2, I think. I wanted to play it on this channel. Yeah, we tried doing an episode of it. But you were too tired. Uh, I wasn't tired. I it was wasn't, too tired. It wasn't just being tired. I was like uh, migrating. I had a really bad headache that whole time and I was like not okay. And you were like, no, 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 we can do an episode. And then that there whole episode, I was There are people who have to walk 20 miles a day just to get a fresh glass of water. Well, I'm not one of those bastard people. And you were like, oh, I can't. We're can not playing the Pain Olympics. Picks. I, I was play in a pain. Video game. I'm not gonna I've do got it. A headache. Ooh. Oh my god. Could you imagine, like, if I'd made you? Could you imagine? I, if... I, I like dragged you and it's like, oh Sam, I'm gonna make you play <laughs> all of Fire Emblem today because I'd I say, like that okay, game. Okay, because I'm a consummate professional. You wouldn't play Fire Emblem because you'd be like, oh, it's anime. I'm not playing that. Yeah, you're goddamn right. I would. Fire Emblem's good. You though. know what? If we, we went play to Fire war, Emblem, if we went to war, we'd be doomed because of people like you. I don't know. Fire Emblem Three Houses is really tough. Oh, actually, me how that's to a fair war. point. You'd be on the tactics division, wouldn't you? Um, we should play a Fire Emblem game. Maybe we one of the not. older ones. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm genuinely not trying to be cringe here. All right, Smash Bros. Then. Why not Smash Bros? We can play Smash Bros. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's get the Fire Emblem game, Smash Bros. I mean, we can get Paul. I'll ba I'll play Byleth if we want it to be a Fire Emblem. I'm restarting. Oh my god. I lost my deal with the Devil Chance. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. That's a good start. Like, um, whenever we play Smash, it's it's very variable. Sam always wins. Because Sam's the best at it yes, in the whole group. Obviously. Um, I'm usually second best, but it really depends on if I'm deciding I'm not playing well today. And then it's often, I guess, Tom. Is Tom better than Paul? 
Yeah, Listen, depends what character Paul plays. If he gets out Sora and does that really annoying combo. It depends how easy I choose to go on people at the time. That's very true. Sometimes I'll be like, okay, Paul's having a bad time. Let's give him a win. Okay. <laughs> Let's give him a dub. Let's give him a dub. And I even play like Ganondorf, which is like lowest tier character. Yeah, but you character. like Ganondorf. And you play him really well, at least now a group. Obviously, again, before we, you start with the, oh, well, we, I'm not, we, I'm you not can't good call at yourself Smash. a good Smash player. Yeah, He's I'm the not... best in our group. Yeah. You know, he's that guy. He's that guy that is the best at it and is therefore really annoying to play against if he actually tries. Well, that's why I play, you know, your smelly characters. Yeah, but your you, little Max. You've always you've always played like Ganon and Little Mac though. Even before you played with us. I like an group. underdog. I like the danger. I like the fury. I, I play uh, Dark Pit and uh, I was really annoyed. That's because you're from the north. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like Dark Pit and I like Byleth. Um, Thatcher took away the dart pit, didn't she? She truly did. How dare she? Um, and I was really annoyed when they changed it so that pit and dart pit are like just recolors now um, on the screen. I guess it's because there's so many characters. Oh no, I, I changed that. Did you? Yeah, you can put retrains in the same section. Because uh, dart pit's got a different. Um, yeah, they've got different moves. A different ult as well, which I don't know what it's called. It's final smash. I don't. It's the final. You mean the final smash? Yeah, I call it an ultimate. Anyway, it's, it's a final smash. Yeah, the, his ult is different, and I really don't like original pit's ult. It's annoying. I I, I'll be honest. I don't even remember. I think his is a chariot, while dart pit's is like a. Boing! Laser. The he shoots you with a gun. He pulls he, he, out an actual gun. He pulls gun. out his Glock and he uh, shoots everyone. I'm sliding on the poo. And then we always play uh, Shulk, um, not because we like him. I fucking hate playing Shulk, but uh, he goes, Air Slash. Air Slash. <laughs> yeah, he's a proper northerner, not like you. <laughs> Air Slash. Air Slash. Backslash. Oh, my God. I fucking love Smash Bros. I'm really feeling it. I can't wait for a new Smash Bros. I don't think they'll ever make another one. I don't know if they will. If they do, I'd, I, it'll be hard I to be better. I think that you know? Sakurai will probably retire, and he was really like... The reason why he was, was the guy. Yeah. yeah. He's like the guy. Well, Smash is what we do like every time we've had a drinking night and we um, don't want to keep playing Magic the Gathering. Yeah. Um, though saying that, uh, we have been watching a lot of Naked Attraction recently. Do, 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 is, is this uh, a, a cross-continental show? I imagine that would be banned in America. Y it feels like it would be. Um, we should probably explain it, right? Naked um, Attraction is a show in the UK which uh, presents itself as a dating show, but is actually just a show for perverts. Oh, God. Right. Our so Alexa got is haunted. <laughs> she, she just started playing in the next room. She just started playing an ad. For, yeah. For some reason. Randomly blast. It, it, we were lying in bed the other day, just like getting ready to go to sleep. And then... Yeah, this was the wrong, was it? No, not that one. I meant this one. Uh -huh. uh, it randomly just started blasting ads. Mm. I don't know why it keeps doing it. It's very, very fucking annoying, huh? What were we talking about? We were naked talking about naked attraction. Right. So... It, on the premises of a dating show and the way it works is you're a, you're a single lonely person looking for love and you tell them your preferences right and then they'll collect a group of people uh who are totally naked right and they put them in these five cubicles that are color coded and then the the the, the cubicle like pane of glass in front of them will raise from bottom to top so you see their 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 genitalia, Genitals, and then you see their their breasts or chests. Yeah, um, and then you see the face, and then you have to do like a silly round, or let's see how you talk, and let's make you dance or whatever. Oh god, the dancing rounds make me want to die. And then you break it down into like three people, and then you have to have a little chat with them, and then you pick the person you want to take on a date, and then on the last round, the person who's on the show like looking for love will uh, will also get naked. Will also get naked. And that's the premise of the entire show. It's, it's as they call it, dating in reverse. But what it actually is, is an excuse for... for it's, it's for everybody to have morbid curiosity and watch, basically. Right. It's the same reason people watched... Um, na uh, uh, oh, shit, what's it called? Ba embarrassing Bodies. Yeah. I just want an excuse to look at, like, naked people to see how weird they are. And see how weird I am. <laughs> well, to see if I'm weird by comparison. And yeah. I'll be honest, I think I'm pretty, pretty normal. Pretty, pretty normal. Yeah. I mean, I'm a bit of a freak. What, sorry? I'm a bit of a freak. I don't know if we want to go down this line of... Because oh. I don't know I don't know where this bus is driving to, and that's not a destination I want to, I want to, you know, move towards. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm a bit of a freak. I'm She's a got a freak. third leg. That's <laughs> true. I've got a third leg. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah that's, uh, I that's... think, like, everybody has something about them that's not average. You know, it's really hard to be. No, oh, I can. Yeah, average. I know that. Yeah. 
Yeah, you've got that fat cock and I've got that <laughs> giant pussy. <laughs> I think the term was parachute pussy. Oh, my What's apologies. wrong with Monstro? He's big. No, but look at his face, though. He's really upset. He's, He's got, got his no eyes, eyes closed. What's going on? I, I feel like I've got, like, cursed Isaac. I, d I don't know. Maybe you sh like, I, I might go for a wee. You do you want to carry the episode while I wee? We can talk about naked attraction while I'm gone. Next time I'm hit, we will end the episode. Oh, okay. It's real high pressure. This is high pressure. I'm just going to hit the stop recording button the second I'm hit. Oh, my God. So you bring up a topic of conversation you want to talk about. Well, I was going to keep talking about Naked Attraction. By it's all such, means. It's such a, like, a strange show that like we would just keep communally watch like uh, as, as a group. And <laughs> I don't really know why, but we just do. <laughs> well, because it's, kind of, it's kind of funny. And it's like a little bit weird to put on in the background. It is like a show for like almost, I feel like, uni halls. Yeah. Well, when you were in halls, you used to watch um, Take Me Out, didn't you? Take Me Out. That, that was, was like a, a that was a dating one. show. Yeah. Um, there was also okay. So here's a weird show that again I feel like would be banned in America. It was literally called like Sex Box. Oh yeah. I've and what they would this, do but... is they would get these were all Channel Four shows by the way, which yeah, is like the uh, trendy, edgy, different stuff you wouldn't find on the BBC, right? ITV is for old people. Yeah. Channel Four has like the gay shit, but also like the weird shit. That's often what they have. Yeah. It's uh, it's very kind of open-minded, progressive. It yeah. presents itself as, uh, and it's uh, one of those ones. It has ads, but all of the ads have to go towards making the shows. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got hit. 